Hi, welcome back for another free MCAT question of the day. I'm Theo Bennett, one of the many tutors here at MCAT Self Prep, and I actually used our free e-course to get a perfect 528 on the MCAT exam. Today I'm going to be walking you through this question as though you were one of my private MCAT tutoring students. Let's go ahead and get started. Today's question comes from the end of lesson mastery quiz in section number four of the Behavioral Science 1 module. All of these questions include AMC style writing as well as in-depth explanations found at the end of the quiz. Be sure to try this question out for yourself before I give you my explanation. So go ahead and hit pause. All right, now that you've tried it for yourself, let's dive right in. To answer this question, we need to understand drug classifications. I hope to give you more in-depth information so that you could answer any drug type question on the MCAT. Okay, so the first thing that you need to understand is that there are three broad classifications of drugs for the MCAT. The first being stimulants, second is depressants, and third is hallucinogens. Hallucinogens are just like they sound. They make you hallucinate. But sometimes people will confuse stimulants and depressants. Stimulants will increase blood pressure, increase heart rate, and increase mental alertness, all by increasing the central nervous activity. Depressants, on the other hand, will decrease central nervous activity, decrease blood pressure, and decrease heart rate. Another thing that the MCAT loves to test is that combining stimulants and depressants will not actually cancel each other out. Instead, they can have dangerous and additive effects. This is a list of a lot of different drugs that you could possibly see, but I'm going to show you the only ones that matter for the MCAT. Ready? Bam! While this is a pretty exhaustive list, there are a few things that I also want to add. In the depressants column, they're also going to expect you to know that barbiturates and benzodiazepines are also depressants. As well, you should understand that alcohol is a crossover between depressants and stimulants, so it has both properties, and also understand that PCP is a combination of all three. When making flashcards for yourself, make sure to include these crossover categories so that you don't get confused when it comes to questions like alcohol or PCP. If you don't have time to make flashcards for yourself, we also have a question bank full of thousands of different practice quizlets so that you can save time and focus instead on high yield studying. Now that we understand the different classifications of drugs, we can get rid of a few of these options. We know that opiates are not stimulants. This includes heroin and other prescription opioids. Alcohol is a type of depressant. It's also a type of stimulant. And amphetamines are mostly a stimulant. They do not classify as a hallucinogen. And so, knowing that only answer choice two is correct, we can narrow down our answer choices here. Again, remember that this question says which of the following is incorrect. And so the answer is going to be one and three. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to try out more of these questions on mcatselfprep.com. As always, if you found these videos helpful, be sure to give us a like, like or subscribe so that I can provide you with more high-yield MCAT information. Thanks again for watching. Bye.